you vote for? Let me ask you a question. Would you vote for? Yeah. Why? I, I'm going to just be real honest with this. She's a black woman. Yeah. They, they they folk, to, not they, Kim folk. I think it goes back to what somebody was saying where it's not voting for someone, but majority will vote for someone else just to just oh, wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. Let me line this out. Let me line this out. I is think it, majority is it only because she a black woman. Yeah. You don't do you not see the how that how that's a bad idea? Elaborate. Okay, so we're in three proxy wars three. with some of the most powerful leaders in the world. She failed at the border in which we have an estimation of 15 to 20 million people illegally into this country. That is literally overtaking and bankrupting Chicago to the tune of over $400 million per year, and they are in a deficit. Oakland is going out of business. San Francisco, ditto. California, $65 billion deficit. New York, they're literally cutting trash in which they are the rattiest, dirtiest city, and they've taken up resources as far as free health care, free hotels to the tune of $600 a day. They are literally taking over your schools, your taxpayer dollars are going to fund the migrant crisis. She was supposed to be in charge of this. We have a failing economy. Every single day I see people getting on, getting on the internet talking about $30 an hour is the new minimum wage because inflation is fucking out of control. At one point, it was at almost 10%, depending on what city that you were. She has no policy, no record to stand on. One of the biggest things that she did in her career was lock up more black men than ever before, but we sitting here and voting in her vote her in office on identity politics the very person that she she's she was under as far as the president of the united states of america she called him racist during the debate which shows you how fake she is and the only thing that we can stand on from a policy perspective is whether or not she's black and she's a woman we did that during the obama administration and she, he didn't do anything for black people as a matter of fact, y'all complain because the only person that he did or, or the only group of people that he really stood for is the alphabet community. And that's his landmark thing that he's still standing on today. So the only thing that we have to stand on is identity politics. That shit didn't work with Tiffany Henyard in Dalton, Illinois. It didn't work with Karen Bass. It didn't work with Lori Lightfoot in Chicago. It didn't work with Brandon Johnson that then took over his her position in Chicago. It didn't work with Andre Dickens in, in, in uh, Atlanta. It didn't work with Eric Adams in New York. It doesn't work across the country. Every single democratic city is a hellhole. And we sitting here talking about identity politics?